Hello, and welcome to the third of four transition videos to support you and your child through the transition from Year 6 to Year 7 at Cowie Business Academy. My name is Mr Hallam and I'm Head of Year 7, and in this week the video will be discussing the following school policies and transition information. Firstly, we'll be discussing equipment needed for school, the use of lockers, PE kit, movement around the academy, tutor time and being part of a tutor group, and finally, I'll be introducing two new members of our Year 7 tutor team. The overall aim of the video is to support and guide students to be more organised in their new academy. They'll have to get used to following a timetable and moving around a new building. This can often be a daunting task for Year 7 students when they first join us. However, successful organisation and confidence in following their new routine and academy systems will help ensure that students feel much better as they move around the academy and therefore feel in a much better position to begin their learning. It is important that students become accustomed to the layout of the academy as quickly as possible. To make this process as straightforward as we can, the following steps are taken. Firstly, students are given a timetable unique to them. Within this timetable, a student will know their subject, their teacher, and what room they are in. Secondly, the academy is split into five clear teaching faculties. Firstly, on the map on the left hand side is PNS, which in this map is shown in purple, and this is for the physical and natural sciences. Alongside this, to the right hand side, is COMS, which is in red, which stands for English, Media, and Drama. Beneath these, on the left hand side, is BHE, which is in green, which is for Business, Humanities and Enterprise. Humanities includes Geography, History and Modern Foreign Languages. Across to the right hand side, in blue, is AMID, which is for Art, Music and Industrial Design. And finally in the middle, shown in orange, is MATE, which is for Mathematics and Information Technology. This is also where Year 7 will be based for their daily tutor time. Another way we support getting to know the layout of the academy is through our room numbering system. For example, each classroom starts with a letter of the faculty it is in. So, one room may be ML4. The M stands for mate, and then the L stands for lower. If it had a U instead of an L, it would be for the upper floor. So if it is ML4, it is in mate on the lower faculty, room number four. If a student does become lost, which can happen in the first couple of weeks as they adjust to their new environment, staff are always on hand to put them in the right direction. Being organised with the correct equipment is an important skill, not just for education, but for life. Being organised helps students prepare for their learning. The minimum we expect students to have on them while in lessons are two pens, either black or blue ink, a pencil, a ruler, a calculator, and if possible, a scientific calculator, their planner, which is issued to them by their tutor on their first day, their smart card, and their bus pass. Again, this is issued to them on their first day. To help students with being organised while at the academy, they are provided with a locker at no cost. However, students must provide their own padlock. This can either be key or a coded lock. These, these are not available to buy at the academy. A student's locker is their responsibility to look after. Students can use their locker to store any items they do not need throughout the day. Students are not allowed to have their rucksacks or bags on their person while moving around the academy. These should only be worn or visible when arriving and leaving the academy. Students can also store coats, books, lunch boxes and their PE kit in their locker. If a student has brought a packed lunch which they wish to eat at break or lunchtime, they should only bring their lunchbox or drink with them to the restaurant or outdoor seating area. Students can go to their locker 
throughout the academy day during lesson changeover and at break and lunchtime. However, students should not be going to their locker during lesson time unless they have been given permission by their teacher. They will have been given a student pass which entitles them to do this. The next part of a student's equipment list is their academy PE kit. Students must have the correct academy PE kit for both of their PE lessons per week. Their PE kit is available from Chroma, which has a link available on our website and in the newsletter for this week. In Year 7, students will have two PE lessons a week. Their kit must be black and green games top, a black and green hooded top, black and green shorts for boys, a black and green skirt for girls, and two optional extras are CBA leggings and black tapered tracksuit bottoms. All PE kit must also have black games socks. If a student forgets their PE kit, their name and the date it occurred will be taken by a member of staff. If this should occur on more than two occasions in one term, a student will be issued a break or lunchtime detention. If this is a recurring problem, member staff may call home to parents or carers to discuss the issue of the PE kit. In all cases, when PE kits are forgotten, spares will be given. As discussed in previous videos and on previous newsletters, movement around the academy is extremely important so students must follow the academy's expectations. Movement around the academy is at its busiest during the start and the end of the academy day and during lesson changeover. To ensure that all students, staff and visitors can move through the academy as efficiently and safely as possible, we expect all students to abide by the following expectations. Firstly, students are expected to be on time. Being on time is polite and sets a positive tone for the start of your lesson. Students move around the academy in a polite and efficient manner, moving quickly but safely between lessons. We walk on the left hand side in corridors and on staircases. Where possible, we hold doors open for peers, staff and visitors to the academy. We are polite and positive about our academy environment and are welcome to any newcomers. And finally, we always treat the building and the academy property with respect. Students who fail to follow these expectations or show poor punctuality will receive behaviour sanctions. If a student is late, their teacher will mark them on the register for how many minutes they were late. Repeated late marks will result in break and lunchtime detentions. In the case of PE lessons, Students will be dismissed two minutes before normal lesson changeover to allow them time to put their PE kit in their locker and collect equipment needed for their next lesson.
the next part of the video will be discussing tutor time and being part of a tutor group. Each student in the academy belongs to a tutor group and in year seven this means that they'll be spending a lot of their time with their tutor group in many of their different lessons and subjects. However, tutor time is also a 25 minute slot during each day where students get an opportunity to meet their tutor and talk through any problems they are having and their tutor will help them solve them. Tutors are often the first people that students go to when they need help and support. In tutor time itself, students will be taking part in activities which aim to help them organise themselves and also become more well-rounded by looking at different areas of inside and outside of the curriculum. Each day, students will be involved in an activity during tutor time. On Mondays, all of Year 7 will be in their Year Group Assembly. This assembly is usually led by the Head of Year or a member of the Senior Leadership Team. In assembly, they'll cover topics of interest or subject information, important academy information, as well as any messages from staff. On Tuesdays, students will have their planners checked. Planners are issued to each student on their first day when they join Corby Business Academy. Planners are used to monitor and track homework issued by staff in different subjects. Planners should also be signed by parents and carers each week. Failure to sign a planner two weeks in a row will result in a break time detention with the head of year for that student. While planners are being checked, students should have a reading book where they'll be taking part in silent reading. This should be their own book, which can be loaned out from the library or brought in from home. On Wednesdays, students will work through their numeracy ninja booklets. These booklets are designed to support and guide students through their mental arithmetic. Each week, students will take part in a five minute mental arithmetic challenge. They will then review and mark their answers. Scores for this will then be added up and used to look up which ninja belt they have achieved each week. On Thursdays, students will watch news round or a video related to a certain news topic in that week. Students, after watching the video, will then discuss the topics within their tutor group. On a Friday, students have the opportunity to take part in a quiz. This quiz will look at all different types of knowledge. As a tutor group, their points will be added to the league table to see which tutor group at the end of each term and ultimately at the end of the year will come out on top. The final couple of points I'd like to make about tutor time is that tutor time will, is a very valuable part of the school day. Like any other, the register is taken, after which the bulletin or the daily bulletin is read out. In the bulletin will be important messages from staff, including Mr Underwood, Heads of the Year, Senior Leadership and other subjects. A reminder that tutor groups will be decided and you'll receive information of which tutor group your child has been placed into on the 16th of July. The final section before we move on to our tutor profiles is a transition information. If you have not already done so, please ensure that your child has completed the student questionnaire by the link within the newsletter and on our transition section of our website. This form is extremely important in helping place your child into their tutor group, as we try to ensure that each child has been placed into a tutor group with at least two of the friends mentioned from their primary school. Just a reminder that on the 16th of July, you will receive a text message or email informing you which form group your child has been placed into. The next part of the video is another opportunity to introduce two members of our Year 7 tutor team. Firstly is Mrs Bickner, who will be the tutor for 7D. Mrs Bickner is an English teacher and also the Academy's Literacy Coordinator. Mrs Bickner is looking forward to meeting you all 
and helping to ensure that you get the best start at Coy Business Academy. Mrs Bickner also enjoys reading and running, however she dislikes bad manners and is not so keen on mushrooms. Her other hobbies include arts and crafts, in particular brush lettering and watercolours. A fun fact about Mrs Bickner is that she once danced on the London Palladium aged just 15. Mrs Bickner's three top tips are to organise yourself the night before and ensure you have the correct equipment for each day. Secondly, to be kind and help others if you know they are struggling. And finally, don't be afraid to ask for help. We are here to support you. When not in tutor time, you will find Mrs Bickner in the comms faculty. The final tutor to introduce you to you this week is Miss Sutton who, like you, will be joining us in September. Miss Sutton teaches PE and is very excited to meeting everybody in September. Miss Sutton enjoys badminton, netball and gaming. However, she dislikes being disorganised. Along with playing badminton, Miss Sutton also enjoys walking a dog and eating at the restaurant Miller and Carter. A fun fact about Miss Sutton is that she knows all 50 states of America just through song. Miss Sutton's three top tips are to start the day off positive and keep it organised. Secondly, to be confident in asking and answering questions. And finally, be yourself and join a club that interests you. While not in tutor time, you'll find Miss Sutton down in the PE office which is opposite the sports hall. Finally, should you have any questions from the information received in the newsletter on this video, or anything as part of the transition process, please use the email address to get in contact with us below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in our next weekly video.